speaking the viewpoint point that I have just spoken has gotten me labeled a radical by people. A radical. So that shows you where the paradigm is. That shows you what the mindset of the average American is. That anybody who believes in nonviolence and unity among men are a radical. Like you us know, Quakers are new radicals, like Corey Love and Marilyn Manson. No, 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 like well, uh, is Islamic on, radical. Aside, yeah. also people labeled are are like vets that are coming home injured yeah. and yeah. just psychologically mm. fucked up, all labeled possible that, domestic yeah, terrorists. Really no Not allowed, you know, mm. like really being harassed with like guns and just, it's mm. like, you know, and it's like, what happened there? But everybody's like, oh, support our troops, support our troops. But our government doesn't support our troops at all. No, you know what I mean? Why do you think they, they wear dog tags? Because they consider them dogs. They're dogs. Well, dog tags are a tradition that goes back to the, to the beginning. Yeah. Why they use the word dogs. Where does the word dog come from? Dogs God backwards. <laughs> now, in being called... Soldiers, dogs. Why do they get that word? Soldiers the dogs are notorious. Words not, again. Don't words. Have rights. Words to the average human being don't mean as much to as they do to other people. Words. There is a lot of importance and there's a lot of meaning in words and symbols that we just don't pick up on because we. It's you know sort of changed. Much like gay used to mean happy, but now it means you know homosexual. Mm -hmm. Like the 1890s were called the gay 90s for a while. Right? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That, that, that sounds yeah, great. It was a years very, later. it was popular. Everybody used it in everyday language. You know, well, I mean? it's, it's coming so back though. It's, that's coming back. My daughter talked about that because we we're like, that's so gay. We're talking about like, yeah, yeah but that it's turned into a derogatory. A dog, because you, yeah. you say that the government yeah. looks on them as dogs is what you're saying. Yeah, yes. but I'm yeah. also not going to use exactly. the government. You're a number as basically. that. Mm -hmm. Because the it. government works for the banks, plain and simple. The government works for the banks and the big corporations. They are the ones who are pulling all the strings. So the big bankers, what, the, what more can I say? And the, me yes. the media, you know, like everybody <laughs> watches TV. That's like the biggest, you know, like, I saw a great thing on the internet the other day. Like they call it programming for a reason, you know. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you're being, like it's shown that the parts of your brain that are shut down are your <coughs> cognitive reasoning functions in your brain when you watch TV. And then that's why, like, I don't know if anybody's Propaganda. noticed, like, the, the amount of commercials that are on TV these days is like, I watch TV. it's like, what? We're I remember like, growing like, what? up, it was always, and like, it's all like, MTV McDonald's was the Burger worst King, when I was growing up. You know, like, Ikea, or fucking... Yeah. We were always talking to her about how back in the day, gladiators would actually endorse products in Rome. Yeah. They, they had the equivalent the of billboards. So they'd have like some, you know, Maximus, they'd have him, uh, Maximus likes... Our whole practice. society is based on is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our football, yeah, football, football is their gladiators. Exactly, yeah, everyone needs a sport like that. It's not, it's not going to be like Hunger Games. It keeps yeah, us, I'm not it saying keeps it's our bad minds bad occupied thing, instead of looking at... Bread, really bread and circuses. Yeah. I mean, it gets so far like how expensive it is, at least, you know what I mean? Like, like it's not a bad thing. To have things like that, to have entertainment, sports, stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I love football. I used to play it in mm -hmm. high school, whatever. And, but, like, the, what it's become is just a big mass marketing system. Like, it costs so much. Like, mm -hmm. regular people can't really go to a game and enjoy themselves. I haven't know? been to a football game in forever. Me either, because like it costs, it, like, at least, like, $300 to have a good time. The worst you know what I mean? The vet, the, yeah, the vet is a lot like, cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, I haven't gone to a football game since the vet either, you know what I mean? You can go watch the, you can, you can watch Muhlenberg play anytime you want yeah. to. I'm sure, that, I'm sure they would love to have people over there. Yeah. Yeah. That's my alma mater, so. Exactly, I mean. Lehigh would be a little bit more expensive, but that's one double A. Yeah, that's, but. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, and, yes. like, like, the, the prices batteries. are mm -hmm. just ridiculous. And then, meanwhile, you know, like, the cities around them are fucking falling apart and just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no shit. But the stadiums yeah, but they are have, beautiful. Yeah, the stadiums are great. I won't go to that stadium you know, county because everybody's yeah. hanging out. Oh, right, just like just JFK Stadium, we had to tear down for yeah. stadiums that are one-third the size of it. But yeah. It was falling apart, though. It was, it was completely falling apart. They had nothing to put in other than the Army-Navy game, Journey, and Live Aid. Exactly. And us. You know, and, and you guys, think of they, all they, the yeah. money that like they could 
actually put into the community. Camden. Into the city. Second Camden. poorest city in the country. Camden. Yeah, I mean, that has been like. Now you can take a ferry. Now years. you can take a ferry. Oh, they were the cops minimum wage city. in Scranton. Yeah. That fell through. I'm that from guy. Willingboro, which is kind of close to yeah. there. Um, and like that whole area has just been like, it's just like, the whole, for years, my whole time growing up, it's just a fucking dump, man. Like, you know, sure. like they have all kinds of shit that happen, concerts and all kinds of shit that happen in Camden. You can't like <laughs> mm -hmm. fix it up a little bit, you know. Like I'm not. I it's, totally it right. goes for everybody else too. Yes. Well, and now, and now, now you can take a ferry boat across. Yeah. You only have to go into the city of Camden to go to the stadium now. So. Yeah, it's like it's all blocked off now, so you don't. It's like it's a resort terrible. in Jamaica. You don't have to yeah. go off property. To, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget the time I got lost in Camden. And my friends and I wanted to pull over and ask no, someone for directions. No, remember the Petco yeah. line was on fire underground? You that was me. That Camden, the Petco line was, was on fire underground and people were running over places. It was ever on the news, remember? There's a Petco line on fire people were No, no, I remember this. We passed by a group of cops. I wanted to ask them for directions. My friends like, I think they were in the middle of something. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they were. They were. My, my brain couldn't process it. It was like something right. out of TV, what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, so that's... Uh, yeah, so anyway, we, we've talked about your political opinions, and the political opinions that's exposed in this episode are not necessarily the political opinions of the 191 staff. We don't have any. That's what we, the, you know, of course, this happens every time we have a political interview. We, we do tell you that. That is, we have to give... That's what this is all about. We have no opinions. We make no money. We charge no money. That's we have nothing. Great, we thank you a lot for allowing us to yes, say well, yes. what we had to we say. We own our right. statements. Right, to give people a form to say and to talk Tolerance about. Tolerance is the key. Yeah, Tolerance. yeah exactly. Tolerance, love, most love. of all. Yes. All you need is love. Need freedom is, is the love. great, the, the highest not expression wrong. of love is freedom. And this is what goes into the music, is it not? It's exactly what our music is. Yes. All right, we're gonna you know we're gonna take a short break because I no, 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 don't go don't go anywhere, guys because I just want to just break up the video here for a second and we'll come back and we'll talk about your music and bacon. I'm going to just make this very very short as short as possible. Yeah. Um, Jackie, yeah, breaking over Jackie. Oh, 20 seconds. We'll be right back. 20 seconds. Um, yeah. I think this is what she says. No to vegetables. I like vegetables. That's because she choked and she chipped the tooth on a piece mineral. of mineral. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. I took a school already today. Oh, did you know uh, Down Alive? You know that band, Becca? Oh, yeah. I was eating a Brussels sprout. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Becca, you know Down Alive? Yeah, they want me to manage them. The lead guitarist just died. What? Uh, Danny was his name. I, I oh, Danny's dead? What? Yeah, he just died. They just announced it. Holy fucking shit. Well, now we're live on air. Uh, <laughs> our sympathies go out to bounce to uh, Rob and the guys that found that live. We just found out that there has been a, um, I, a, um, Dan, Dan has passed away. The guitars were very yeah, sorry. So our, our condolences, uh, that happened out of nowhere, but we were heading back on the air that quick, so it seems a little, uh, anticlimactic for us to talk about like this, but yes, our condolences. Rest in peace, bro. But yeah, now, condolences Rob, I'll call you later. Rest in peace. Yes. Man, so now, uh, cool. going back to profit, we've just talked about the political lease. We just talked. We just heard the music. Now to get more, what uh, fuses the influence between the music, the politics, the lyrics? What what gets in the mind of the prophet? What what's getting gets in someone's heads is okay. I gotta go out and sing this and play this. As I just say, you know, I definitely associate politics with like a. Uh, I know I wouldn't call you guys rap rock. I wouldn't call the you guys. The Rage Against the Machine stigma. Oh, I thought about the park. Yeah, I, I definitely hear yeah. some Rage Against the Machine in your sound. I hear the, at least some influence. Yeah, but I'm also be, thinking uh, Downset, if anyone remembers Downset. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, they were a big one. And hell, they called out Rage Against the Machine early on, and their vocalist was offered to join what, what became Audio Slave. Right. Right, whatever what, 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 whatever the case. In there, what? Pat? The vocalist? No. From, from Downset. The vocalist from Downset got the offer to join the people oh, from no, Rage no. before they brought in Chris Cornell. Uh -huh. Before they brought it down. I'm not, I'm not sure how that would have worked out, but yes. What does Rage know about motherfucking <laughs> South Central? So I'm not going to go into that. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, you know, like, throughout, just like from the beginning of time, music has been about a message, basically. Yeah. Either you're trying to portray an emotion or 
uh, you're telling a story or something, you know, you're trying All to... All the greatest someone. artists were rebelling against some form of tyranny or another. It's evident in the history of the, the said artists. It's also evident in their works, you know? Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a natural thing. And right now, That's we're the only way the in brain our lives... Work, cause are so fucked up. You think you sometimes know, like, Shakespeare kind of kissed up the Queen Elizabeth? Sir Shakespeare. Yeah, because uh, Richard III what was his that other name? Sir Francis Count, Bacon. Count something. Sir, Sir Francis yeah, Bacon? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon. His name is the Lord and yeah. Jewish bag. That was, yeah. that was his that name, so he wouldn't on get On all of Shakespeare's plays, he had page 89 um, multiple times. Page 89 appeared multiple times in his plays? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Steganography. Steganography. Let's whisper. Shakespeare? Like Maybe Athena would shake the spear? Yeah. Or is it, I think the biggest stigma with, with Shakespeare, what if he was just a normal person who was just that good? I don't think society could ever take that. <laughs> I don't know, there's got to be some dark secret behind it. It doesn't make sense. He wasn't a, 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 really, if you well, research you know. it, mm -hmm. those subjects, you'll, you'll find your answer. Legend and truth, you know what I mean? Watch, watch, watch Everyone Horrible Histories on, on BBC and you know about he never had legend. Yeah. Well, he is a legend, so... Mm -hmm. So, well, well, I know that there's many other people who are credited, who are thought to have been the real Shakespeare. There's those, when it could have been you guys, probably, but you guys were, you guys are pretty uh, young. Uh, You're younger uh, than me. Uh, we're, we're timeless. Timeless? Okay. Timeless. My I favorite actually, playwright is Sarah Kane. Yeah. If you know who she is, you better look her up. You told me about her. We had a nice Anne conversation oh, about that months great. ago. It was great. Who is that? Anne Sexton? Sarah Kane. Oh. Great playwright from London. I mean, Let's not forget oh, yeah. David Fry. Fry. Stephen Fry from, from London, too. It's amazing. It's lost for us. Katie Holmes. <laughs> so, when you guys, <laughs> when you guys yeah. go to write, how many nice songs? Ooh. Yeah. That one movie where she shows him? Was it The Gift? Something like that. The Gift. So I when these songs that. start, Sorry, babe, I still love you. Mm -hmm. oh. When this when this all starts out, like uh, how do the songs come together? Do you sit there and write a lyrical manifesto? Do you jam out with all three instruments and be like, yeah, keep that flowing, keep that flowing, patent paper, patent paper, patent paper, or do you have maybe one patent guy, paper, paper, paper. one guy sends out a smoke signal while another guy sits on top of a tower? And then he uh, he flies a, like a, a a toy helicopter remote control over to another guy, and that's how you write each verse. No, I'll tell you what happens. That that's would like be cool, though. Version of the internet, huh? Yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> that would be awesome. Will you? Oh, uh, like pitch allow me. No, uh, I, I, I will allow you. Uh, okay, the new guy's coming and gonna tell us how songs <laughs> are written. <laughs> He's really not that new. The new yeah, guy is I gonna. Mean, I've been been in the band since the beginning, I just couldn't make it the last time. You know. <laughs> He's not the new guy, Kev. He's been in the band forever. Been the <laughs> okay, so that was literally yeah, just anyway. a stand in like my yeah. band had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. just, just for this for the day. day we came here. But uh, you, the way our songs are yeah, together, we really... He doesn't even play bass. Um, really. We get together at Dirty Underground Studios, you know. Where's that at? That's uh, in Sailorsburg. Where? Sailorsburg? Sailorsburg. Where's that? In Pennsylvania? Or That's by the Sailorsburg. Uh, in the Poconos. Sailorsburg, PA. Yeah. Okay. They can hang out in Big Bass Lake also. Totally. There's no bass at Big so, Bass Lake, though. Exactly. So we there. get together at the Dirty Underground and we turn on our guitars and our little pedal boards and everything's all pretty. And we smoke some weed and we start playing the music. And uh, we just jam for a while. Gone, gone. And whatever flows, Once we flows. start liking something, we'll just start playing it, playing it, you know, and then it leads into the next part and the next part. And then one of these guys scribbles some words down. And and everything's a group effort. This isn't one of those groups where, like, one guy in the band is sort of like the uh, portrait genius maniac who sits we're in his bedroom. Shout out to Andrew Corcoran. <laughs> oh, no. I think we're all portrait geniuses. <laughs> yeah. Shout but, out to Steve no, Harris from Iron Maiden. I mean, yeah. sometimes we do come to the table, one of us has a song already done, but it usually changes when mm -hmm. we all get together and start playing it. You mm -hmm. know, so, like, we pretty much it is, parts. yeah. It, in the end, it becomes a group effort. So, what what are your thoughts on Zach De La Roche's post Rage Against the Machine career? Uh, don't really they know didn't know there it. was a one. Did he really have yeah. one? He started making an album, he didn't finish it, and then he rejoined Rage Against the Machine. Is what I believe what happened. Uh, uh, Aren't they doing like some tour again now? Yeah, yeah, they they, they, they oh, yeah. tour. They don't put out any new music. See, the funny thing whatever, is, is the UK we're show. really not huge Rage Against the Machine fans. Mm -hmm. We're big fans of their politics. Well, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not speaking for everybody else. 
who were fan of their politics, their message. And the not first album, album, yeah, exactly. Just like Ron not Paul, socialist. I'm not a big fan of all his messages. Yeah. Nor, nor you like, messages you you'd like some of what Rage Against the Machine did, but you're not huge fans of them. Yeah, like, no, they the, come the, up you know, because the song they, that yeah. we cover, what do they call it? We do song? cover a song from Rage Killing in the Name. Yeah, we do yeah, yeah. play Killing in the Name. Yes. I mean, great oh, message. Right? Okay. I mean, that's yeah, a great message. It's, that's, a song, that's a song that a lot of people like. When, when people think, okay, rap plus rock plus political message, they're the first band that right. they're going yeah. to think of. Because they're, they're the most famous. Yeah, they're not going to think of Run DMC doing Rock Box. Right. They're, right. they're, they're going to think of that. And again, very few people remember Down Set unless you were in like hardcore or heavy metal in the, the mid 90s. Yeah, that's a fair <laughs> statement. I don't know them. But I was into that stuff then. But I, mm -hmm. you know, like I've always been uh -oh. into everything. But Yeah. You know, <laughs> but it, there's so much great political music out there that nobody. Yeah. And there's so much stuff that is out there that we don't recognize is political. That really is. Mm -hmm. what, was, what was it to give a shout out to? Like what? what my my the biggest surprise to me for a political band was seeing that Chumbawamba is actually very very political. Oh get no doubt. Yeah, you know, like I was like, wow. That's your only song. No, that was the one. What is it? Like, that was the I one. Get up yeah. again. I get, down, so okay, I get, I get right. notes down. Yeah. This in the night away. Uh, yeah, that yeah. came on, but the song was, yeah, the invent of the word note. I get noked down, which I think he meant knocked down. That, that, that's what I got. Or a crazy accent. Yeah, and I remember my friends absolutely loved that song in 1998. I remember that. And that song's not even now. political, I have, right? Yes. I mean, a couple of yes, words. Yes, yes, I do. But that song's, I, I get that it. was their hit. drunk and, you know. It is a whiskey drink. It is a but like, drink. a lot of their later stuff is all very, you know, in the movement and stuff. That like, whole CD is pretty much political. Just that one song was like. Yeah, yeah that, they had that the one fun hit. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they, they never got And the they couldn't of. play yeah. the rest of it. It yeah. was probably actually good, <laughs> yeah. but it was political. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, oh, what was the other one? Maybe uh, the, the, the Crash Atari Test Atari Teenage Riot.